Hi, my name is Timon from Go Study WIU, an agency that helps international students easily transition to the Western Illinois University right here in the United States. You've taken 12 to 18 months to find the right university in the US. You applied and you have been accepted. Now, here comes the next steps, getting your F1 student visa. In this episode, we're gonna talk about what is a student visa and what are some of the pros and cons of a student visa. Stay tuned. If you would like to study as a full-time student in the United States, you'll generally need an F1 visa. So let's take a look at what is an F1 visa, its benefits and limitations. First things first, let's talk about what an F1 visa is. The F1 visa is a category of visa that allows academic students to enter the United States as a full-time student at an accredited college, university, seminary, conservatory, academic high school, elementary school, or other academic institution or in a language training program. Here are some of the things you should know when applying for an F1 visa. There is an application process and a fee required to get your student visa. You must be enrolled in an academic educational program, a language training program, or a vocational program. Your school must be approved by the Student and Exchange Visitors Program, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. You must be enrolled as a full-time student at that institution. You must be proficient in English or be enrolled in the courses leading to English proficiency. You must have sufficient funds available for self-support during the entire proposed course of study. And finally, you must maintain a residence abroad which you have no intention of giving up. Now, here are some of the benefits of the F1 visa. It allows you to remain in the US legally for a limited time to complete your degree. It also allows you to work on campus for a maximum of 20 hours. So some students may find jobs in the libraries, computer labs, and different areas that the school provides services where they can work at least 20 hours and get paid for doing that. Also, an F1 visa holder can apply for F2 visa, which allows the immediate family members of the F1 student visa holder to relocate to the United States. So if you're married and you want to come over here to study and you've gotten your F1 visa, there is a provision that allows you to bring your family with you called the F2 visa. Also, it allows you to travel out of the country and return safely. But it is important to remember that you need to get your I-20 signed before you leave the country by the designated school official, usually referred to as a DSO. That is a person that is authorized to maintain the student and exchange visa information system. For F1 visas, any off-campus training employment must be related to your area of study and must be authorized prior to starting any work by the DSO. Additionally, with an F1 visa, students are allowed to apply for something called Optional Practical Training, OPT. That is basically a provision that allows you to work temporarily in the United States in an area that is directly related to your major as an F1 student. I will do an episode on the OPT so that you have a better understanding of what it entails. An F1 visa also allows you to apply for something called a STEM Optional Practical Training Extension, OPT. STEM meaning Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And finally, the F1 visa allows you to apply for Curricular Practical Training. That is a training that allows you to train in a field that is related to your major. Now, let's explore some of the cons of the F1 visa. As I mentioned earlier, an F1 visa has a limitation of work hours, so you're only allowed to work on campus for a limited number of hours, and as I mentioned, it's only 20 hours maximum. Also, you're not allowed to work off campus in your first year of your degree. So even if you are doing a two-year degree, you still have to wait for that first year unless you get a special exemption or provision by the DSO. The final con of the F1 visa is that you must leave the United States fairly soon after finishing your studies. You will be told that by the DSO. Before I conclude this segment, I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and most importantly, share my video with a friend. In conclusion, the F1 visa has both benefits and limitations, but there really is no getting around it if you intend to study in the United States as a full-time student. So what you need to do is know the information, know exactly what you need in order to get that particular visa. When doing your research into universities in the US, be sure to do your research into what the F1 visa is, its limitations, its benefits, 
and ask for help from the International Student Office of that particular university where you're applying. They would be more than willing to help you with the process. The information I provided in this video can be found on the USCIS.gov website. I will provide a link for that website in the description of this video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, and share my video with a friend. See you next time.